I mean, I'm, I'm really pleased to, to see everyone. I'm going to sit because I've been standing a lot of them and my knees are giving way. Um, I, I, I'm going to start with um, some kind of quite boring but very important thanks because um, I can't really be here, I couldn't have been here without the continued efforts of a large number of people. Um, uh, I know that a lot of people in the the College of Humanities, Arts and Social Sciences have been working very hard over a very long time to get me here. And I'm really pleased, for example, uh, that Professor Alan Chan has made uh, the time to come and Professor Liu Hong as well. I'm very touched. Thank you very much. Um, in the early stages, I had very sweet emails from uh, Professor Neil Murphy and uh, Wee Wan Ling who got in touch with me via some old contacts in KL. So I'm really pleased that, that those old networking still worked and that people still remembered me uh, in the deep recesses of their mind. Um, and everyone of the faculty has been so welcoming since I got here. Mary Sherwood, who only arrived a week before me, did so much made me welcome. Um, everyone really. But I have to reserve a very special and huge thanks for Professor Jen Crawford, who really single-handedly um, organized everything and um, is far too humble to receive all the facts that she should get. And particularly in the early stages, I had to put up with, with my very dumb questions like, are there going to be towels in the flat? Um, and you, all that takes a lot of time, and I thank you very much for your patience, and I thank you, and I thank you for making it so easy and smooth for me. Um, thank you for my old friends who made, who made the effort to come across town to be here. Thank you for coming. It's a friend of mine who made it all across town. Thank you so much for coming. Um, and my students as well, after a hard day's work, I know you didn't have to come. Um, but you know, I am grading your papers, so <laughs> so I know who's here. Anyway, um, <coughs> it's a it's a great it's a great privilege to be able to to be able to share the launch of my book um, at NTU uh, with you all here. Um, it's not, it, it, it means a lot to me to be here. Um, this book is the most personal book I think I've written so far. Um, it's taken four years of my life. Um, I, I really. I've tried to work hard and write faster. Um, my publishers keep telling me I need to write faster, I need to write more books. Um, and I really, really worked very hard. Um, I hardly took a break over four years, but I think, I'm sorry, Chan, who's from HarperCollins, I'm, I'm afraid that's about as fast as I can write. Um, it, the novel is about five Malaysians, um, from different kinds of background who go to Shanghai to seek fame and fortune. Um, they're all there for a variety of different reasons. They're all trying to start afresh. But when we see them in this amazing new city, we see that actually what matters to them is not the new place they're in and this brilliant new life that they are trying to make for themselves. What's more important is actually the home that they have left behind, which for them is Malaysia. Um, and as they move through this giant metropolis, they find that their paths crisscross, sometimes very incidentally, and other times in a much more meaningful, even life-changing way. Um, and I guess, in some way, that mirrors my own life um, because uh, as um, the MC introduced, uh, uh, said earlier, I, I was born in, in Taipei. My parents were Malaysian, um, I moved back to Malaysia when I was quite small. But I think those three or four years were very formative because I always got a sense that I wasn't quite the same as everyone else. And um, every time I had to fill in a form at school, or actually even now when I go back through um, immigration in KL, people look at my passport and say, hey, how are you, sir? And actually, you know, it's really hard if 
that if you're a young child, to get rid of the sense that you're somehow different. Um, so for me, you know, I think it's really important for, for me to finally write a book about the journeys that people make through life. I mean, Southeast Asia is about Malaysian countries like Malaysia and Singapore do not exist without immigration. I and mean, the whole of Malaysia and Singapore is built on the story of immigration. Um, and so, as my five characters move through Shanghai, we see what kind of backgrounds they come from. We see their families have made the voyage from southern China to Nanyang. Um, and we see how that has affected their lives and how, even though they try and move through this super modern world of the future, a lot of them are still trying to deal with what has happened to their whole family's history over the last hundred years. Um, and I guess for me that meant writing a lot about my own family's experience. Um, some of the characters in the book are exactly my age. And so in that way I think that the book speaks really about the experience of the people of my generation who were really the first generation of Malaysians to have uh, the privilege of higher education and particularly higher education overseas. And part of my wanting to write the novel is to try and think about what we are currently doing with those privileges, how we have dealt with really being at the forefront of the changes in the way Southeast Asia thinks about itself. Um, what have we done with the dreams and the ambitions and the aspirations of our generation? Have we gone down the route of easy materialism or have we decided to use something, to use the privileges that we have to make something better, to try and change society in some fundamental way? Uh, my, my job as a, as a novice, I think, is not to is not to come to any judgment, not certainly not to make judgment on any of these people, but just to pose the question and allow the characters to speak for themselves and allow you, the readers, to decide for yourself. Um, so I guess I'm just going to finish with a quick summary. Because someone was saying, yeah, I've been meeting journalists and they've been, um, I think it's very difficult for writers to summarize very quickly what their novels are about in one or two sentences because I've, I've spent four years writing this so you can imagine I get a bit long-winded um, but a couple of people have been pressing me to give them one word answers one sentence answers to put on the, the front page of their um, of their um, websites and, and I guess um, if pressed I would say that the, this is a novel about about modern Asia it's about love, ambition, and handbags. Um, I'll let you discover all that in due course. Thank you very much for coming. Right, thank you. Thank you, Uh At this moment, I'd like to also welcome.